Spooky Toberfest 2013. It's over! So, um, some of you were asking, sent private messages, and uh, made a comment here or there. Oh, look, and I painted in the shield about my Scrag the Slaughterer model. Ugh. And uh, it's part of an ogre's commission project for a local buddy of mine who commissioned me to do a whole bunch of ogres for him. So, over the next year or so, you should see many more ogre videos. But uh, that, that's what it's for. And. Uh, I, I probably won't be doing any more of these anytime soon just because, oh look how, look how gross that is. Uh, this one was, uh, this one is a journey to get through, but uh, I hope he's happy with it. And uh, let's move on to some other recent goings on in the Warboss Tay Studio. The Houndmaster 14, many of you might remember this lovely chap. He sent this to me for my birthday. It's an Empire Warrior Priest of Sigmar. So I, I painted him up. I'm really happy with the way he turned out. A lot of things that I didn't notice the first time when I unboxed this model. Just amazing detail, like he's barefooted, so you've got his toes and all the musculature of his foot. And he uh, has, I mean, just his belts and the little fetishes and, the, and everything on him. The, the buckles, the silver buckles on, on the multiple belts. Even his hammer has a little S on the bottom for Sigma. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful model. Forge World, limited edition, so I guess the only way you can get it now is if you bug your friend who went to uh, Games Day 2013 and might have gotten an extra one. Or if you get it on eBay. I wasn't quite happy with the completely bald, shaven head look, so I decided to give him a very severe hairline and uh, receding. So it was uh, some, some gray paints. I think I used um, Skaven Blight Binge because it's got a little bit of brown in it. I watered it down a lot, put it over the uh, the head. First I painted the head as as well as I could. I think that was a Bugman's Glow, Cadian Flesh Tone, shaded with some Raikland Flesh Shade and then highlighted back up with Cadian Flesh Tone with a mix of Pallid Witch Flesh into there. And then I was looking at it, I was like, I just don't like this big bald head, uh, even though <laughs> Even though it might be kind of what, what, what they're known for, I decided to give him some, some stubble. Some stubble. So I watered down some Skaven Blight Dinge, painted that on. It still looked like the hairline was just too solid, so I took some watered down Cadian Flesh Tone and I just kind of glazed it over, which means that you really, really water down that, that paint so that it's not so much of a paint as just. Uh, water with some pigment in it and that gave it that naturally oily scalp shine which I'm sure many of you have seen on people with short hair uh, really really short hair so yeah really happy with that the book the writing the script was done as always with my Micron Arts pen and uh, I'm super happy with this model I'm super happy that the Houndmaster got this for me for my birthday and uh, so Special announcement as a thank you to him, the Houndmaster 14, for being such an awesome guy, for producing such fine quality video content, and because he actually gave me two other gifts, which I absolutely love, I have decided to uh, give gift him this fully painted Warrior Priest model, because I know he plays Empire, I know he used to watch a lot of my Empire videos, so I hope that I have done a good enough job of this that he will be happy with it. I, I love painting limited edition stuff. It really, as a collector, as a painter, it makes me feel very accomplished to be able to get my hands on something that I know you can't normally pick up in a store or order online. You have to kind of hunt around and look for it. But I'm, I, I hope you're happy with it, Houndmaster 14. I still got your other two goodies for my birthday that I have to open up and unbox, which I shall be doing. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. If you ha have any other questions on how I did anything, please feel free to ask. The standard color scheme that I used was, you know, the silver and the browns. Mostly all the browns, like the leather belts and everything, were just uh, Mornfang brown. Washed it with Agrax Earthshade, highlighted back up. The silver was all lead belcher, shaded with Agrax Earthshade and Seraphim Sepia, highlighted back up. And uh, everything else, like the skulls, was Rackarth Flesh. Um, yeah, pretty pretty simple and explanatory, but if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm planning on doing some more Let's Paint style videos. For, uh, so instead of full-out tutorials for people who don't really have these models, they'll just be for 
for if you're interested in, in seeing my process and I'll go through everything, kind of like how I did with my Scrag model. So stay tuned for that, more Ogre videos, more, um, more unboxings, more awesome content as we head into the end of 2013. Hope you guys are all doing well out there and we will see you in the next one. Latest players!